this week. This week we are getting ready for the ATV Expeditions uh, Youth Unlimited Halifax Fundraiser Follow Me Rally. Um, I'm leading it along with a couple of my buddies. And I blew a tire last weekend. <clears throat> so, buddy of mine loaned me his tires to get me through. And I got some tires from a club member. I bought some tires from one of our club members. And uh, they're coming tonight on my rims. A buddy of mine, Neil, is uh, mounting them up for me. So thanks a lot, Neil. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do the oil change. We're going to check this thing over, make sure we're good for the rally. I got Dylan over there taking the jacko from underneath the bike for me. It's all up on Jack's hands. Give it a good check over and get ready for the rally. We get to do the oil change. I'm sure it's not that difficult. I've never done it on the uh, commander, so I'll have to find where everything is. But we got the kit here. Comes with the filter. Comes with exactly the amount of 0W40 oil. <clears throat> I believe it's 2.8 quarts. Comes with a new crush washer. And it comes with a new O-ring. Anyway, that's your kit. You pick it up at your lo local dealer. And it was uh, $71. Not cheap, but oil's not cheap. All right. So. so we've got, uh, I got some new wheels coming tonight. So uh, we've got all the wheels off. Waiting for that. We got the uh, all the panels off, and uh, there's your oil filter right down there. Oil, obviously, oil dipstick. We have. I didn't take the plastics out on this side because. Uh, well, I don't need to. I took this off to take a look. Some nice storage there and underneath. You can put an ammo can in there if you wanted to. I plan on keeping all my tire supplies in there. Tire repair supplies. Alright, so now what we've got to do is we got to drain the oil and change the oil filter and then we'll get it all back together, get it all snapped back up and We'll be all ready to go for the weekend. Hopefully the uh, roof's going to be here tomorrow. So uh, that'll be, I'll be able to get rid of this as it wasn't meant to hold up and it's not. So oh, I'm looking forward to getting a real roof. All right, so we'll get this tore apart and you should see it. All right, so we're going to find the drain plug here. Got a 17 mil socket. Don't really need a deep socket, but that's what I've got. Ah, it's real helpful when you're as big as I am trying to do this stuff. Ah. All right, get the oil pan here. ring put the new one on that's not too horrible looking actually definitely seeing worse all right so we've got uh, an 8 mil bolt here this is the uh, oil filter cover It's going to be a little tougher to get 
too. Grab a stitch in there. Don't forget to uh, clean up all your excess oil when you're done. Oh, we have a shop towel or two here. Just gotta clean up this mess a little bit. Of course, a little bit of oil on the bike's not necessarily a bad thing. Everything looking shiny, right? All right, so we're just filling it back up now. We got the uh, oil filter changed. Got the drain plug back in. So I'm just about to call it a night here. Got to work in the morning. Got the oil changed in the commander. Ready for the weekend. Neil came through. Brought me my tires. Thanks a lot, Neil. Appreciate that. And uh, we'll get those on tomorrow night. Be interested to check out these uh, Dirt Commander tires. And we'll get the plastics all put together tomorrow night cleaned up a bit I might even do depending on how the night goes and what I get done I might do a little bit of uh, I got some lights I want to put in it so we'll see if I got time to do that and be ready for an early start Saturday morning we uh, I'm just borrowing a buddy's trailer right now because I don't have one to fit the commander and uh, he needs it this weekend so I'm riding from home, so I'll be headed up from uh, from home here in Beaverbank out to Kennecook for 9 a.m. So it's going to be an early start Saturday morning. So my buddy Jason, I think, is going to uh, ride shotgun with me on the rally. So I'm sure he'll be really happy to find out that uh, we got to be up that early <laughs> and uh, heading out to Kennecook. But you know what? The commander's uh, comfortable. I don't mind at all. I love riding it. So we will see you guys in Kennecook on the weekend. We'll see you tomorrow night and we'll get this thing buttoned up. Hey everybody. All right, night two. We got the wheels back on. I'll show you them in a little bit. Uh, we got a mod to do. We have Sport Low. So if anybody doesn't know what Sport Low is, it basically... In the Commander, um, when you're in low gear, you only you automatically get switched into Eco Mode. So in Eco Mode, you lose a big chunk of your horsepower, which in the woods, in tight trails, you don't want. But when you get on some of the trails up here in Beaverbank, you still want that low gear, but you want to have all your power. Um, so anyway, it tricks the computer to thinking that you're in high gear all the time even if you're in low and you can select in and out of it so if you're in low and you're in the woods and you want that you, you don't want that jerky feeling all the time uh, and the clutch slamming around you can uh, put it back in eco mode lose a bunch of your power but get your get a little bit of your uh, precision back <coughs> anyway we're gonna get started and uh, figure this out because I haven't even done any research on it so I'm gonna figure this out and uh, we'll see you shortly all right so I did a little bit of research and uh, I now know how this goes in it's incredibly simple 
<coughs> we just find the gear possession gear position sensor on the back of the transmission. We're gonna pop that bad boy off. Boom, there's your connector. Put that down for a second. I really need to get some better camera gear. We're gonna plug this into the new cable. Boom. We're gonna plug this in there. We're gonna get a little click. Boom. Sport low mod installed. I mean, how much easier does it get? I paid, I believe it was $25 for that on either eBay or Amazon. I think it was Amazon. I had it pretty quick. Even with the postal strike. All right, let's test this bad boy out. We got it in sport mode. Don't mind my messy installation of a stereo because I'm waiting for my roof. <clears throat> actually came tonight, so that'll be uh, probably another video. Or we'll try to get it done tonight. Anyway, there you go. I'm in, as you can see, I'm in low gear. And the computer thinks I'm in high gear. So we're going to take it out. We're going to test it on the trail. On the rally tomorrow, going to Walton. And uh, that should make a considerable difference in my day. Because there's lots of running that it would be nice to have, that sort of thing. <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, we're, uh, we're going out and we're leading a rally for Youth Unlimited Halifax. Yeah, so we got a bunch of good sponsors on board and we're going to go out, we're going to leave Kennecook, we're going to head over towards Stanley and then we're going to head up to Walton, come out in the wind farm. We're going to run the shoulder of the road pilot project area and we're going to go to the Walton pub, have some lunch. Then we're going to head out and we're going to go up the quarry roadside and head back towards Kennecook. It's going to be a good day. We're going to have much fun and I look forward to seeing you guys out there. So we're going to get a little bit more done and uh, I say we, I mean me, I'm going to get a little more done and try to get this thing back together and good to go for the morning at seven o'clock. So, got a couple hours. Hopefully, it won't be a super late night because I got a long day ahead of me. So, yeah, get some stuff done. High performance roof tie downs. <laughs> wow, you can see inside of it again. That's the only thing about a roof. You lose all your life. But, then you go to the dollar store, 
and you get a adjustable dome light. Ooh. Probably a ripoff. It was from the dollar store. It was like four bucks. So it's probably a ripoff. But anyway, put some Velcro on the back. Boom, slam it up there. Other than the fact that it comes flying down on top of you when uh, you hit enough bumps or a hard enough bump, uh, maybe put some double sided tape on it. It's got magnets on it, so unfortunately, this is an aluminum roof, so nothing's going to stick to it. But uh, we'll figure that out. It's an aluminum roof, black finish. Look real nice on the commander. surprise for later another kind of DIY thing that I'm doing <clears throat> but this works perfect I got a spot here that I can mount a light to so I don't have to drill into my cage I don't want to do that and so yeah that's a good-looking roof it's, uh, I'd say eighth inch aluminum and Boy, she's not, uh, it's going to take a heck of a lot to damage that. Not going to say that too loud, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty strong. Looks like it's pretty tough. Now, we'll find the mounts. We'll get this thing mounted up. And I'll be back. So, after I turned the camera off, I realized that I should probably do an unboxing. So anyway, stainless steel hardware. Nice to see, it won't rust. We got five roll bar clamps. And we got pre-cut pieces of foam. So I can put that on there so that it doesn't rattle. The fins obviously go to the rear. You know, extra downforce, right? <laughs> deflect stuff up from uh, coming down into the cage deflect that dust up and over and try your best to keep it from coming into the bike you all know how well that works but water keep water out at least try to help anyway we're gonna get this mounted up and I'll be back shortly
as you can see, we, uh, we got the roof on. We made it back from Walton. The trip was yesterday. Had uh, 25, 35 bikes show up, I think. I don't really remember what the total was. Uh, the boys in the Sherp had a great time. There's a video coming up of that run. So we'll look forward to that. The uh, Commander made out great. The Sport, uh, Sport Low was an awesome, awesome upgrade. Lots and lots of ice. It was crazy. We sent the Sherpa ahead on one of the trails because some of the, like, look at that. Like, it's November. It's beginning of November. Middle November, I guess. Anyway, I haven't really given it a check over a whole lot. I'm letting it thaw out a little bit in the sun. Anyway, I haven't had a chance really to check it over too much, but I don't think there's anything, uh, anything wrong with it. The, uh, Thigh rods still look great. We, uh, other than a little bit of ice and everything that we went through, it was a uh, really good run. I didn't get into anything real crazy that would uh, cause any damage. We had a, a bit of mud. We had some guys have all kinds of fun in the mud. You know who I'm talking about, Mark. <laughs> anyway, um, look forward to that video, and uh, we'll see you guys on the trails. Thanks for watching.